Hey guys, what's going on? Yo, um, today, this video is going to be kind of deep, guys. You know, it's, um, I've been really wanting to change some ways of my thinking when it comes to this moto vlogging and YouTube and stuff. And, you know, what is my message? And here's the thing. I'm going to say it like this. Motorcycle is my passion. I love riding motorcycles. I, I live and breathe motorcycles. You know, I ride mine all the time. You know, it's just a lot of things about the bike life that I love and riding my motorcycle. But the question I have to ask myself is, what is my purpose? And today, I want to like dig deep in my mindset on, you know, these questions I'm going to ask, you know. I'm I, like I said, I love motorcycles. Pa this is my passion, but what is my purpose? And the thing is, with what my purpose is on this channel is to show that, you know, you can have fun on a motorcycle. You can enjoy riding. You can, you know, be free, but be safe at the same time. And, have, and you don't have to do crazy things to be able to, you know, to have fun with this, you know, passion. And I see a lot of people make videos about, you know, crashes and, you know, Dan the Fireman, I love his channel. You know, he actually takes these videos that people, you know, when they crash and he literally dissects the video second by second by second by second and literally points out every little thing they do or they did that caused them to get into accidents and it's really helpful and really insightful but what I want to do is I want to take his ideas and go a step further I really want to get deep and really analyze what people are thinking why are they actually doing it you know what makes them tick when it comes to riding motorcycles and that's where I want to really get down into like I want to be a motivational motor vlogger that's what I want to actually be I feel like my calling is to motivate people to ride safe and to have fun in this motorcycle life I want everybody to I want everybody to ride to the ripe old age and die of natural causes versus going to countless and countless of funerals because of some people's riding and the thing is it's everybody wants to like say equipment and your you know your jacket and things like that and i'm not going to be a hypocrite no i don't wear gear all the time i do have gear but i don't like right now i'm in shorts t-shirt i just got off work i'm literally going home from work and i'm just taking a back road because you know i'm just taking a nice easy ride home because I really want to make this video to kind of like be serious, you know, and yeah, be serious. And I'm wearing a clown uh, head cover, right? <laughs> That's oxymoron. But anyway, so, you know, my purpose is like something that needs to be like looked at. My purpose in this bike life and my YouTube channel is to share my knowledge and also help inspire people to ride safe because with all the gear that you have you i can have a full set of leathers it will save my skin this that, and the other but the number one thing that saves anybody's life in this bike life is your head and what you're thinking but i want to kind of like break it down to be like what are people thinking what is in their head when they are riding to cause these accidents because at the end of the day you know you your mind is the thing that's going to save your life not the gear not the you know your the new bike with all electronics and all the you know top safety awards and all that all that is helpful but your mind is the number one thing that's going to save your life the most so let me say this okay when you're out riding and everybody doesn't ride the same okay 
you know everybody has their different styles of riding everybody's i'm going i'm gonna tell you like this i don't care who you are your type of riding has been influenced by somebody's influenced you somehow some way to ride the way you ride right now okay you think that when you first learned how to ride a motorcycle and you got on this bike that you were going to ride the ride you ride now no what happens is that you are enamored and you are like you know it's like oh wow man motorcycles are fun you know this that, and the other this person look he's doing wheelies or this person man look how fast he's going or man look at this person his nice bike he's spent a lot of money on a paint job right there that is what's influenced you to become the rider you are today just by just seeing other people now there's a there's a saying that um somebody that you know because i've been doing a lot of you know listening to a lot of motivational but everybody a lot of people out here i would say about 90 percent of people that i know who ride have an ego and egos are not good things to have on these on motorcycles because what ego stands for is edging God out. Yeah, when somebody edges God out, then they feel like they can do anything and ride any way and is immune to any kind of thing happening to them because their ego. And when you edge God out of your riding, that means that, you know, you think you know everything. And I'm gonna tell you this now, I don't care how many years you've been riding, I don't care what skills you learn or you know. I don't care if, you know, you've been, you know, you're the top safety person of the world. When you edge God out of your riding, you're just as, it, it, it's stupid because you're now thinking that you're, take, you can take the power of your own life because you think you know or you have the skills that you can ride. Now, the thing is this, God has given you has given a lot of people the ability to ride motorcycles skillful more skillful than others i know cats who ride who are good at wheelies who are good at going fast and they have a special skill that i don't have but when they start to edge god out or have an ego then they're the ones that you see a lot of times who get in wrecks and accidents and stuff like that you know like i'm gonna give you an example soccer cruiser you know, Sergeant Cruiser, if you're watching this video, I want to say, hey, brother, I hope you get well. Um, I read that, you know, you, you know, you went down on your, on your bike and stuff like that, and that, you know, you've had some injuries. You know, I wish you well, and I, you know, hope to, uh, you know, hope you heal fast, and you know, you get back in those bike. But, you know, he's a person. You know, he has all the safety equipment in the world. He has the air vest on. He has a lot of, you know, equipment, and he always preaches safety. Yes, yeah, safety, safety, safety. But even him, he went down and got an accident. Now I don't know how he went down. I don't know if it was because of him or because you know he, uh, you know, somebody did something. But by the, what he said, I think that he had an ego when he was riding that day on that bike, and Edge got out of his ride, and that's why he ended up where he ended up. Now. I'm not saying that I, I'm, I'm guilty of the same, you know? I, I get on my bike and think, oh, nothing's gonna happen, I'll be okay, you know? I, I, I have to stop thinking that way, you know what I'm saying? I have to stop thinking that way because I start getting overconfident and my ego starts to rise up and when my ego rises up, rises up, then that's where I'm gonna have a problem and that's where, you know, I'm gonna have a mistake. So, you know, I, I need to keep my, you know, I have to check myself as well. And, you know, I'm not going to be here making this video just to say, like, you do this and do this, that. No, I, I'm guilty of the same because this video, I'm actually talking to myself as well. But I'm just sharing it with everybody else. Now, everybody, a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people who are influencers, you know, they... You know they mean all and well on some of their videos but a lot of times it's nothing but fluff you know what i what i was what i've heard is that you follow who you want to be so if i'm a person who goes on youtube and i follow a guy 
who does crazy stunts and you know and race you know runs from cops and stuff like that or people getting accidents that's what I see that's what I want to be like I'm not saying you want to get in an accident but if some people are so like cool with you know watching people get in accidents I'm not saying they want to get in one but they're most likely going to be in one you know if you watch certain things about certain people or you watch certain channels you end up and if you end up wanting to be like them you know it's a good thing it's a bad thing if you watch a channel like max risk who you know constantly you know does crazy stuff like wheelies and you know races you know different vehicles and stuff hell i don't even think that's max risk i think it's like a bunch of people pretending to be him you know because he, I think he's probably in jail or can't ride a bike again or whatever and they and just other people are riding in his name to keep you know his popularity going but you know when people watch them and you know see what they do that is an indication that's what you want to do and I, I'm not me personally I'm not that way you know I look at people like Chase and I look at people like uh, you know uh, Dan the fireman and stuff like that I feel like they are real down-to-earth people, and I feel like watching their, watching, when I watch their videos, I come away with something. I come away with a bit of knowledge I didn't know about before, and I come with, and I think about when I go ride next time, what they say, or the, or the video that they made, I pertain to my life and try to make myself a better rider. But when you watch people like Max Risk, you're like, man, I can't wait to get my bike and just start doing crazy stuff. That's not that's not me and that's not what I want other people to be like you know it's not popular like my channel's not popular you know my content is not popular and that's okay when I'm being popular because if I can save one person if I can have one person listen to this message and it gets to them then I did my job you know I'm I'm don't do this for fame fortune money I don't sit there and do plug-ins and be like, yes, this video is brought to you by, um, this video is brought to you by this person who made this app that I never play. No, I'm not being that way. I am being genuinely honest with you. My passion is motorcycles. My purpose is to save your life. If I can save somebody's life, I did my job. Just like, for instance, the other day, you know, if you see my Instagram, uh, a guy went down, okay, uh, while I was doing my breast cancer awareness ride. And let me tell you this, guys. I never, I don't even know who it was. I seen him in the ambulance before they took him off. I seen his bike. I made a video about his bike. And the thing is, is that I didn't know the guy at all. I didn't know him, uh, you know, I just knew his first name was Matt. That's all I knew. He didn't have a Facebook, nothing. But I felt his pain because he's a fellow rider. And I just didn't just sit by the sidelines and just kept, you know, and just kept going and enjoying my day. I stopped. I made sure he was okay. I asked him, Does he, you know, did he need anything? And I got his information and his number. And, you know, and I talked to his wife and made sure his wife was okay. I hooked him up with a lawyer because down here in Georgia, um, there's a guy named uh, Evan, uh, Evan Kane. Um, he's, a mo he's a really good motorcycle lawyer here in Georgia, uh, here in Atlanta, and everybody goes to him. He's, one, he's responsible for me getting my bike painted by QT when the gas overflowed. And I just said, I just called Evan. I said, hey, Evan, this guy went down this would happen you know if y'all want to know what you know the accident whatever go to my last video you will see what happened you know to him but I'm you know I literally talked to Evan showed him the pictures I took and I made a video about it and Evan hit you know reach out to him and now Evan is um, representing him in a lawsuit because it wasn't his fault it was the guy's fault and see things like that and the guy was like thank you for doing that this and the other See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. I just don't want to sit on the sidelines and just make videos and, you know, and not be a part of people, helping people out. And that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm doing a giveaway, um, you know, around this area for a trickle charger because, you know, winter is about to come up here soon and people are starting to put their bikes away and, 
I mean, me, I don't put my bike away until until December, or if it's way too cold to ride. But other than that, I will ride and ride and ride because, again, my goal is to get 100,000 miles on this bike before the new year. So I got I got a lot of miles to keep riding. So I'm gonna keep doing that. But you know, I I feel like I want to be helpful, and that's my purpose. And like I said, it's not popular. I don't get a thousand likes. I don't get a bunch of views and things like that. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not getting a bunch of views because the few views I do get, I'm grateful for getting those, you know? So it's just one thing guys that you, you, you know, you have, just be careful out there. You know, the summer, summertime's over with, fall's here. People start putting their bikes away. You know, let's take this time when your bikes, when you when when you start riding your motorcycle, let's take this time to reflect on your riding. Reflect on how this past summer went, what things you can do to change your riding to make you a better and a safer rider. Let's reflect on what good times you had, what bad times you have. And so when next year pops up and you're ready to ride, you already have those habits instilled and ready to go and that you are like you know become a better rider for the next year the next riding season because next year i have a uh, plenty of things i'm gonna do i'm definitely going to talk to my pastor and do a uh blight a like <laughs> a bike blessing and things because i feel like that's really important i feel like something in my in my heart is telling me I, can you give deuces to a person on a horse? I just did. I think that's okay, guys. I think I can give deuces on a horse. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I feel like something's telling me, something's tugging at my heart that I need to do a bike blessing because I want to reach out in the community that this is important and that, you know, who, no matter what kind of gear you have or what kind of, you know, bike you got, you can die anytime and you want to make sure that you know you're whatever you believe in that you're straight and you're right so if something does happen and you go there that you know that that part of your journey is taken care of you know because i believe in all aspects of safety even though i'm not wearing any you know jacket and stuff but i will be wearing jackets and stuff because it's going to be cold here soon so you'll still, you'll start seeing me in gear <laughs> But um, I just want to make, I had to make this video because as I keep listening to these motivational speakers, I feel like that I'm taking what they're saying, learning it, and then taking what I've learned, put it in my own little mixing bowl, mix it with my passion for bike life, and then throw it out as my purpose to share with everybody here on my channel. So guys, you know, any questions comments stuff like that you know i just can't wait to hear them um i know it's a little bit different from a lot of other motor vloggers and i'm glad i'm, I'm cool with that so god i'm gonna be out i appreciate y'all watching peace